the eagles gathering together. Greetings to his bride around the world that is in a revival, uniting around the message of the hour. What shall we do, in our day, with this Jesus called Christ? All the things that he prophesied to be fulfilled in these last days have been brought to life and vindicated by the word, but only his elected will see it and believe it, for it has been revealed to them. It has been thoroughly identified and vindicated by the tapes being played around the world. We see the same one that lived on earth in the body of Jesus Christ, came and lived once again in our day in the one he chose to call out and lead his bride. Now we are recognizing that it has come upon us, the ones he has chosen and predestinated before the foundation of the world, and we are making ourselves ready by hearing his word call us out. How important is it to hear these tapes in our homes, in our cars, and in our churches? These tapes, the very voice of God to the world, is the voice that will introduce us, his bride, to the bridegroom and say behold the Lamb of God. But this prophet will come, and as the forerunner to the first coming cried, Behold the Lamb of God, that taketh away the sin of the world, even so will he no doubt cry out, Behold the Lamb of God, coming in glory. He will do this, for even as John was the messenger of truth to the elect, so is this one the last messenger to the elect and word-born bride. We are that word-born bride. It is uniting time and we are being called by that voice that he ordained to lead his bride. The dynamics has come and is refilling us with his Holy Spirit, and it will take us off the earth, into glory, in the rapture. The time has come, the wheat is ready for the full August sun. It would have killed it back then, it wasn't ready, but today the wheat is stronger, it is more advanced. It's ready to take the full sun, the full revelation, to recognize who we are. Now is the time. Now is the season. There is nothing can give you life but the spoken word of God. It's the only where that life can come, is through his spoken word. What is the spoken word for our day? The word made manifested. This message, his voice, will bring the headstone. Not me, not a group of men. For each man has different ideas, different interpretations of the word. Not by your church, but by God speaking directly to each of us as individuals by the voice he called to lead his bride. How is God going to judge the world? By his word. Who does the word come to? Who is the only, only divine interpreter of God's word? Who did he call and choose to be his mouthpiece for this day? Who was vindicated by the pillar of fire? Who said it was a one-man message? Who said just say what is on them tapes? Who said it's the incarnate word made flesh amongst his people again and they just don't believe it? God will judge the world by his word, which is the message of the hour that has been revealed in this day and spoken through his prophet, and recorded on tape for his bride to hear. Let his bride gather once again on Sunday at 10 a.m. Jeffersonville, Indiana time as we unite around that word and feast upon the spoken word of God, as he speaks through his prophet and lets his bride know. There is a man here that can turn on the light. God bless each of you as he gives you more revelation of himself, and who you are. Brother Joseph Branham
Shalom. If this video was a blessing for your life, like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. God keep you dear brother and sister. Señor, y sentir la paz excelsa de tu amor.